Magandang hapon. This is Trixie Angeles for Luminous and Trick by Trixie Cruz Angeles and Amid Paglinawan ng Facebook. Uh, magandang hapon sa inyong lahat. At 11.30 this morning, uh, in-announce po ng uh, spokesman ni uh, Chief Justice uh, May Lucereno ang desisyon ng Korte Suprema doon sa GR number 237428, Republic of the Philippines, represented by Sol Gen, uh, Solicitor General Jose Calida versus Maria Lourdes P.A. Sereno. At uh, ang pagbasa ng ang ayon doon sa media briefer, ang dispositive portion po, magandang hapon, ang dispositive portion po ng desisyon ng Korte Suprema ay nagbabasa ng ganito. Wherefore, the petition for co-warranto is granted. Respondent Maria Lourdes P.A. Sereno is found disqualified from and hereby adjudged guilty of unlawfully holding and exercising the office of the Chief Justice. Accordingly, Respondent Maria Lourdes P.A. Sereno is ousted and excluded therefrom. Uh, the position of Chief Justice is declared vacant and the Judicial and Bar Council is directed to uh, commence the application and nomination process. This decision is immediately executory without need of further action from the court. Respondent Maria, but hindi lang po natatapos yung decision dyan, nagdagdag pa sila at ang sabi nila ay, Respondent Maria Lourdes P.A. Sereno is ordered to show cause within 10 days from receipt hereof why she should not be sanctioned for violating the Code of Professional Responsibility in the Code of Judicial Conduct for transgressing the sub rule and casting aspersions and ill motives to members of the Supreme Court. Ano pong ibig sabihin nito? Well, uh, it means that she had been uh, unlawfully occupying the office. Ibig sabihin, uh, hindi siya talaga ang Chief Justice. Ngayon, maraming nagtatanong. Ang isa po doon sa mga madalas na naririnig kong tanong, pag tinanggal ba siya as Chief Justice, does she revert to Associate Justice? That's not uh, the case here. Kasi po, iba po yung position ng AJ doon sa CJ. You cannot occupy, ang pagkaintindi ko, once you become Chief Justice, you are no longer Associate Justice. So there is no vacancy in the among associate justices and uh, when you're CJ you don't necessarily lapse back into becoming an AJ. Kumbaga hindi ka associate justice and chief justice at the same time. So that pag natanggal yung pagka chief justice mo andun pa yung pagka associate justice mo. That's not true. Pag natanggal ka as CJ tanggal ka sa Korte Suprema. So she is according to the decision ousted from from the office which she had been illegally holding. Um, uh, ayon din dun sa Korte Suprema, uh, valid po ang paggamit ng co-waranto sa pagtanggal sa kanya bilang uh, Chief Justice. Okay, yung ibang mga tanong, maaari po ba siyang madisbar? Dun sa bottom ng media briefer nakalagay po na in order si Chief Justice, si dating Chief Justice Sereno, na uh, mag-show cause kung bakit hindi siya masanction for violating the Code of Professional Responsibility at saka yung Code of Judicial Conduct. Uh, dahil dun sa mga statements na ginawa niya, uh, at the time that the court was still deliberating dito sa uh, kanyang kaso. So, naaalala nyo, umiikot siya, tapos meron siyang mga statements katulad ng uh, I will not be judged by a barkada o kaya yung mga sinasabi niya na um, si Justice Ter Teresita de Castro daw ay, um, ay galit lang sa kanya. Kaya ginagawa niya ito. At sinasabi niya na unethical daw ang ginagawa ng limang mahistado na nagbigay ng testigo doon sa, sa kongreso at uh, therefore should have been inhibited. So yung pagsasalita niya at yung pag-iinsulto niya doon sa ibang mga mahistado who were deciding on the case ay... Uh, sinabihan siya ngayon kung bakit hindi siya dapat isanction. Ngayon, normally po, pagka-violation ng subjudice rule, kinocontempt. Uh, ang penalty po doon, may, uh, ang finding po dyan ay contempt or indirect contempt. At uh, usually yon may kulong po. Pero ang sinabi dito ng hukuman ay 
why she should not be sanctioned for violation of the Code of Professional Responsibility or the Code of and the Code of Judicial Conduct. Ngayon, ang parusa po dun sa violations nun uh, ay uh, could be an admonition, which means papagalitan lang siya, pagsasabihan siya, or suspension, which means hindi siya po pwedeng mag-practice ng, ng law for a while, or disbarment po. So, we will see kung ano po yung explanation niya. Binigyan po siya ng sampung araw para sumagot kung bakit hindi siya paparusahan para dun sa violations ng CPR at uh, CJC, Code of Judicial Conduct at saka Code of Professional Responsibility. So, but in the meantime, while the decision is immediately executory, ibig sabihin, hindi na siya maaaring mag-exercise ng kahit anong powers ng Chief Justice or even to occupy her office, uh, she has 15 days to file a motion for reconsideration. So, dun, dito sa motion for reconsideration, she can ask the court to uh, reconsider, to, to go back to, your, to their decision uh, at tignan kung tama yung sinabi nila dun sa decision. Okay? Um, she needs to come up with a new argument na hindi pa po niya nagagamit, pero she cannot come up with new evidence kasi bawal po yun. Um, in this case po, uh, I think that kaya siya pinayagan na mag-oral argument noon ay para mabigyan siya ng pagkakataon na ilabas na lahat ng maaari niyang ilabas na argumento sa harap ng hukuman. So, sa tingin ko, uh, dito sa motion for reconsideration, um, depende po rin sa decision, ay mahihirapan na tayo maghan siya maghanap ng panibago na argumento para magbago pa ang isip ng mga mahistrado. Para sa akin, however, mabigat itong show cause order kasi po marami po siyang inikutan at marami siyang pinuntahan ng mga lugar at marami po siyang nasabi ukol dito sa kanyang mga colleagues dito sa Korte Suprema. Um, so, uh, ano ang mangyayari dun sa mga decisions niya? Wala pa po kasi tayong abiso dun sa pinakamataas na hukuman sa ngayon. Normally po kasi kapag you illegally hold the position at wala pong tinatawag natin na colorable title, Ibig sabihin, pat lahat po ng ginawa nyo in office, walang visa at kailangan magsole ng, uh, ng lahat ng benefits and emoluments. Meaning, well, yung sasakyan, huwag nyo na pong itanong yan kasi yung sasakyan, official vehicle po yun. Hindi po yan personal nyo na vehicle. So, iiwan niya po talaga yan. Um, yung doon sa pag, ano, yung sweldo po, normally po sa co-warrant to, sinusoli yan eh. Sinusoli yung, yung sinweldo. Um, uh, ang tanong na lang is ano ang legal effect dun sa mga decisions na siya po ang, uh, ang gumawa I think that to prevent uh, confusion uh, hindi po gagalawin yung mga decision na uh, since they have already become final uh, dun sa mga cases na na-decide na na siya yung ponente or siya yung nag-cast or she cast her vote so Sabi ni Georgie Loyola, Supreme Court being the final arbiter does not need to include final to supplement its decision as executory. However, oh, wala naman silang sinasabi na final dun sa ano eh. Uh, ang sinasabi lang nila is immediately executory. Nagiging final lang po ang decision na ito uh, 15 days after she receives a copy of it kung hindi po po siya magpa-file ng motion for reconsideration. Sabi ni uh, Raven, what can you say about the yellow saying only impeachment can remove the reno and not co-warranto? I'm afraid that that is a moot question kasi tinatanggal na siya by co-warranto. Uh, in this case also, since it is the Supreme Court that decided, the Supreme Court being, as Joe says, the final arbiter, saan po ba mag ang mga, mga ito? Si... si uh, Madam May Lucereno, saan po siya pupunta para umapila? Un the court is the final arbiter at nag-decide na po ang hukuman. Sabi ni Joseph, moving on, how soon the president will appoint a new CJ? I hope there will be an apology offered to the late and former CJ Corona to be broadcast nationally and to all those who... Sino po ang mag-a-apologize? 
uh, ang gumawa po sa kanya nun ay the, the moves were begun by the president. So, I think this is apology enough. This is vindication enough for the Chief, for Chief Justice Corona. How soon can the President appoint? Mag-uumpisa po yung process kasi inutusan na ng pataas ng hukuman, umpisahan na po ang search by the Judicial and Bar Council. Uh, Mag-uumpisa na po ipopost nila yan, tapos mag-welcome sila ng applications, mag-i-interview po si mag-i-evaluate sila at mag-i-interview sila ng mga applicants. The, tapos gagawa po sila ng short list of about names at ibibigay yan sa Pangulo, dun po mag appoint ang ating Pangulo. But only after the search has been made by the Judicial and Bar Council. Uh, sabi ni Joser, and I think this is important, di bali na pong hindi mo ibalik ang sahod niyan, importante makaalis na siya. Sabi ni Raven Hendricks, what can you say? Oh, well, yun nga yung ano. Um, sabi ni na <laughs> Unconstitutional daw. Sabi ni Mr. Bubuy, balang eh. Unconstitutional daw ang removal. O tama, pero sino ba yung nagde-deter? Kahit sabihin, hindi ko sinasabing tama. What I'm saying is, o oh, sige, sabihin man nilang unconstitutional, sino po ba ang nagde-determine ng constitutionality of an act? Kung hindi ang Korte Suprema, di ba? So, good luck. Brian Caldona said, Carbio said yes that she violated the Constitution, so it's like he admits that her requirements are incomplete, yet he said no to the co-warranto. Ayun nga eh, uh, we'll have to look at the full decision at tingnan natin kasi may ilang mga mahistado daw na gumawa ng mga separate opinions, so makikita natin doon kung ano talagang saloobin ni Justice Carbio, kung mayroon siyang separate opinion. Sabi ni Jenny Lynn, legal po ba ang proseso? Kasi sabi ni Bam, hindi daw, talo naman daw ang taong bayan. Sino ba ang nagdetermine, nagdetermine ng legality dito kung hindi ang pinakamataas ng hukuman o ang Korte Suprema? So right now, uh, they can say anything they want. But the actual fact of this is that the Supreme Court, being the final arbiter of what is constitutional and what is in fact legal, has already made its statement, has already said, na yun na nga. Um, she was illegally occupying the office. Sabi ni Ryan, will the shortlisting be made public and their psychological tests to avoid another Serena? I'm not sure. The psychological tests, in theory, should be kept confidential. Um, but in the shortlist is usually made public. Sabi ni Inday, she just woke up. Uh, is, has Serena been ousted? Yes, she has been ousted by a vote of 8 to 6. Sabi ni Susan, pag nag-appeal siya, ano naman ang mangyayari? Sayang na naman pera ng bayan. Wala po kasing appeal dahil Korte Suprema po ang nagpa siya. So, all she can file is a motion for reconsideration. She has 15 days to do that. And most likely, kung gusto niyang patagalin, she will file on the 15th day. The court will set another end bank hearing, which happens usually on Tuesdays. But I have no doubts that they will uphold their own decision. Uh, sabi ni George, bakit hindi maintindihan ng mga abogado ni former Chief Sereno na kung ano yung requirements, isal in, di ba dapat void yung appointment? And that's what the Supreme Court is saying. Pero syempre, meron silang pinupush na sarili nilang argumento kasi nababagay po yun dun sa kanilang agenda. Um, alam nyo po, Marami namang lawyers na magkakaiba ang opinion. But in this case, kapag nagpasya na po ang pinakamataas na hukuman, the argument ends there. Sabi ni Debbie Fajardo, kapalaran niya po yun, nakaguhit na po sa kanyang palad. Sabi ni Jojit Faraon, if independent ang judiciary, bakit ang presidente ang pumipili ng CJ? Sorry? Because the Constitution says so. That is part of the, ano, the independence doesn't stem from the appointment. The independence stems from the ability to make decisions without being interfered with by the other branches of government. Diba? So, uh, halimbawa, diba, um, we can, we all, uh, in the civil service, kahit sa executive, di ba, presidente ang nag appoint for, cert for certain positions and going up. But that doesn't mean that these people are beholden to the power who appointed them. They are still left to their own discretions. 
Sabi ni Arian, go what if she insists, stays and holds her position, well, she can be bodily removed. Uh, sabi ni Lucenda, Mona in here, she's, she's the one talking, and anybody who reads your comment, it looks like you're pointing to attorney tweaks. Ano po yun? Uh, I don't get it. If you're talking to each other, you better, uh, I, uh, I, you know, I might end up reading it. Eh. So, sabi ni Ana Marie, good news po yan. Sabi ni Vin, when past administrations politicalize, politicalize and sensationalize the Supreme Court, it opens ideas. Here's now the result. Na si J. Corona na lang si Sereno. Sabi ni Catherine, she's out. Karma is real. Justice Corona is still haunting them. The Liberal Party is doomed. So, justice is served. Sabi ni Nuj, baste, plan B na po ba si Sereno? Tatakbo naman bilang senador para may immunity sa kaso. Ang immunity po sa senado ay only immunity from uh, liability, not from suit, ha? Kasi pwede ka pa rin i-demanda. But immunity from liability for the statements that you make uh, in the course of being a senator. So, uh, it's a investigative committees at committees where you're conducting investigations for your uh, speeches, etc. inside the Senate, etc. Yung mga privileged speech, mga ganun. Yun lang yung immunity na. Uh, sabi ni Tino, kung tatagal pang motion, anong mangyayari sa impeachment? Wala pong magiging impeachment kasi hindi po transmit ng Kongreso yung article of impeachment doon sa Senado. If she is removed, there is nobody to impeach. Uh, sabi ni Ronald, uy, naiiyak talaga ako sa resulta. Nakakalungkot ang nangyari. Nakakalungkot? Nangyari kay si Jay Corona? <laughs> sabi ni Fresh Hill, halos lahat ng decision ni Noy Noy puro palpak. Sino ba mga advisors niyan? Well, hindi ako sure. Ah, uh, Sabi ni C, we should stop calling her CJ or former CJ because the Supreme Court said she was never CJ to begin with. Tama po. Sabi ni Marie, bago matapos ang termino ni PRRD, tatlo ang ma-appoint niya sa Supreme Court. Actually, halos lahat ma-appoint niya sa Korte Suprema except for three. Arang ganon. Uh, bakit may nagmarali? Pwede ba mababago yung decision pag sobrang dami ang nakikilahok? Actually nga, di ba, uh, sa karambola may ilang beses na naming sinabi ito. Lalong-lalo na tungkol dun sa mga speeches ni CJ Corona. Ay, so, CJ, ni, ni Madam May Lu Sereno. Dahil ikot siya ng ikot sa iba-ibang mga forum. Uh, tapos may mga sinasabi siya tungkol dun sa mga mahistrado mismo ng Korte Suprema, lalong-lalo na kina Justice De Castro, Justice Hardelesa, Justice Martires, Justice Tiham. Um, ngayon, ang hinaharap niya ay show cause order. So, kailangan niya ngayon magpaliwanag kung bakit hindi ko consider na violation ng subjudice rule at saka uh, violation ng consequently, violation ng CPR, Code of Professional Responsibility, at saka Code of Judicial Conduct. Sabi ni, ang sorry, ang likot ng table. Sabi ni Polly, paano po yung mga kasong na decisionan na? We will have to see the decision of the court. Uh, palagay ko, hindi na po gagalawin yun kasi it's confusing eh. Sabi ni Jamie, buti na lang na aus si Sereno kung umakit sa Senado, malamang di ma-impeach. Sabi ni Heist, nakakatawa mga madre na nagdadasal para kay Sereno, pero sa Dengvac siya wala. Sabi ni Jennifer, kung walang impeachment due to removal, anong isa sa pangkaso kay Sereno, then just removal lang. Well, when she's removed, she's immune from suit. Kasi ganun din naman sa impeachment, you're only removed from office. That's what impeachment does. Pero once you're removed from office, wala ka ng immunity. Pag wala ka ng immunity, pwede ka ng kasuhan for other things like criminal offenses, mga ganon. 
Uh, sabi ni Jordan, Yarte, what happens from here on in the next thing in swing? What we expect for her and who gets to replace her? Uh, like I said, um, she has 15 days to file a motion for reconsideration. Um, she has to come up with a good argument and then the, it will be submitted to the court which will probably hold another in-bank session for that. In the meantime, she is out of the Supreme Court kasi immediately executory po yung decision. Magkoconduct po ng search ang Judicial Empire Council, uh, mag-open for applications, tapos mag-start sila ng uh, evaluations at saka ng interviews, and then they will come up with a short list and give that short list to the President. Usually, it's about three names, and the President will choose the next Chief Justice from that short list. Hindi ako nag wild guess as to who the next uh, Chief Justice is going to be. Mahirap na po, wala akong bolang kristal. At least not when it comes to that. May bolang kristal ako because na, na, ano, na predict ko yung subjudis, violation ng subjudis at saka yung requirement ng show cause order. Uh, sabi ni Maria, bakit wala pong karambola today? Uy, nagkarambola kami kaninang umaga. Sabi ni Fred Cruz, you're, salamat sa paliwanag. You're welcome po. Sabi ni Jose Lito, paano yung ninakaw ni Serena? Ibabalik ba yun, di ba? Yung, yung sinampang reklamo ni Attorney Gadon. Wala pong ninakaw. Ang sinasabi ni uh, Attorney Gadon, yung requirement kasi ng submission ng salens is para ma-monitor yung, yung ill-gotten wealth kung lumalaki ba yung... Uh, yung assets niya dahil nag-occupy siya ng position sa gobyerno. Walang sinasabi si Attorney Gadon na may nanakaw. Sabi ni AJ Golane, but di ka sumali sa mga justices niya? Eh, hindi po. Uh, hindi po. <laughs> Sabi ni Neo, posible pa rin ba na i-transmit ng House yung articles of impeachment kahit na ousted na siya as CJ kasi gusto ng Senate to proceed as an impeachment court. Eh, sino i-impeach sila? Wala na sa position si CJ. Ah, wala nang vacant na yung position ng CJ. At uh, illegal nga daw po yung occupation niya. Sabi ni Chachay, paano po pag hindi niya yan sinunod, umayaw po siyang umalis sa office, then she will be removed by the security. Hmm. Sabi ni Ninita, she's watching from Bahrain. Sabi ni Polly, pag sa impeachment na tanggal, di na pwede tumakbo sa public office. Hindi po not necessarily. Pag po ba sa kawaran to, pwede pa siyang tumakbo. Uh, ang nilagay kasi lang po dun sa dispositive portion is that she's disqualified from holding the office of Chief Justice. So, hindi pa nakalagay dito ang disqualify if she is permanently disqualified from holding office. Uh, Minsan, sa impeachment, maaaring i-disqualify ka perpetually from holding office. Depende po yan dun sa decision ng impeachment court. So, in this case, wala pong nakalagay dun sa dispositive portion. Sabi ni Sean, may sinabi daw si Congressman Umalik na kung masyadong close yung voting, baka i-forward pa rin yung articles of impeachment to the Senate. Why? If it is... Uh, there's no such thing as a close vote. You're either removed by coaranto or you aren't. So, si Lenny pwede rin i-file ng coaranto since she betrayed the truth. Well, uh, iba po sa elective officials, normally po, ang coaranto will lie against impeachable officials like the vice president kung kulang siya ng qualifications to run for office. So, halimbawa, kung malaman natin na hindi pala siya Filipino citizen, hindi pala siya marunong magbasa o magsulat, then, yon ground yon for kuwaran to. Pero right now, the other means of removing her from office is through the Comelec recount, through the pet recount. Sino nagsabing hindi final? Hindi pa po final ang decision ng Korte Suprema because it takes 15 days. It doesn't mean na hindi pa final na tanggal siya. Immediately executory means aalisin na siya dun sa opisina niya. And hindi na po siya maaaring mag-exercise ng kahit anong powers ng isang Chief Justice ng Korte Suprema. Or in fact, of a Justice of the Supreme Court. 
Sabi ni Chris Bimas, wala pong live stream na recorded. Ah, wala ang live stream. Doon sa YouTube po meron. Uh, puntahan niyo doon sa YouTube channel ng DWIZ. Ah, uh, pwede ba siyang ma-disbar? Sabi ni Mike. Yes, pwede po siyang ma-disbar kung hindi niya ma-explain na maayos yung violation niya ng subjudice rule. Uh, normally kasi ang violation po ng Code of Professional Responsibility at Code of Judicial Conduct, maaari siyang ma-suspend, mapagsabihan, admonition, o kaya ma-disbar. Depende po yan doon sa, uh, sa kabigat ng penalty na ipaparatang sa kanya. Sabi ni Ben, sa nanggagaling ng candidates, basta member of the bar ka. Uh, so, you can come from the academe, you can come from the Court of Appeals, you can uh, be a litigator, basta you have been in the practice of law at abogado ka. Uh, kailangan more than uh, 10 years of, the, of practice. Or, or 10 years, more than 10 years ka ng abogado. Sabi ni Ninita, bakit tuloy-tuloy pa na ng recount? Samantalang very obvious naman ang pandaraya ni Lenny. Because it is a recount, not just a determination of whether fraud was committed, it's also a determination of whether there is enough fraud that had been committed to change the outcome of the electoral contest. Dun sa kaso ni BBM. Sabi ni Marco, aren't those priests and nuns in violation of the constitutional provision against the for the separation of church and state? Um, yung separation of church and state means that the church does not uh, participate in governance. Meaning, yung simbahan, hindi natin binibigyan ng discretion or governance obligations or mandates. Uh, but they're allowed to exercise their religious faith. So they and they also have to steal the power or the 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 freedom to speak their minds. So maari silang magrali. Pero ang bawal sa kanila yung nakikialam sila directly dun sa mga polisya ng gobyerno. So indirectly yung ginagawa nila halimbawa dun sa divorce bill yung kumakausap sila ng mga legislators, mga naglalabi sila. That's not per se illegal. That is not a violation of the separation of church and state kasi hindi naman sila members ng gobyerno. So, sabi ni Romeo Santos, Lenny has a pending disqualification case. Yes. So ngayon, paano kung nangyari is if the COMELEC decides that she is uh, in violation of the rule against receiving foreign funding and the decision of the COMELEC is to perpetually disqualify her from office, then maglalay din po or iaalaw din po ang kuwaran to. Sabi ni... Nakita ko, ano, pakiulit yung ano, dun, call dun sa kay, ano, kay Justice Natura. Yung question tungkol kay Justice Natura. Sabi Brian, sabi ni Valte, since kuwaran to daw is for CJ, dapat daw maging AJ siya uli. Actually, mali po yun, wala pong vacancy. Hindi siya po AJ and CJ at the same time. She was only a CJ. Therefore, she doesn't go back to being AJ. Besides, wala pong vacancy for us who say justice right now. So, tinitignan ko yung mga na-miss ko na questions eh. Okay, we'll take about three more questions. Uh, Nahanap ko yung, ano, yung questions dito sa, sa laptop. Justice right now. Uh, Ah, ingay, no? Okay, we'll take about three more questions. Yan. Sabi ni... Uh, why is the pet so quiet about the recount since BBM and... The, well, the pet cannot say anything right now unless a motion has been filed and they make a decision. Uh, sabi ni Tion, mag-file daw ng motion for recon si Justice Sereno. Well, that is expected po. Uh, From CNN Philippines, ano yung sa CNN? A few minutes after Supreme Court spokesperson Teddy Te announced the High Court's ruling, he posted a statement saying, I dissent in his official Twitter account. Oo, oh, nakita ko po yun. Um, si uh, Attorney Te still has the free
freedom of speech, so he's still allowed to keep his Twitter account. He all he's saying is, hindi siya sang ayon dun sa decision ng Korte Suprema. There's nothing wrong with dissent. There's nothing wrong with ex, uh, you know, expressing yourself, even if your expression is um, not in consonance with the Supreme Court's decision. Okay lang po yun. Uh, sabi ni Jane, who will file the disbarment? It, it's not necessary for anybody to file the disbarment kung violation kasi ng subjudice rule. Ang subjudice rule po, ang decision na mag-impose uh, ng penalty dyan ay ang mga mahistrado mismo kasi nasa kanila yung kaso. Attorney, lulusot po kaya ang motion for reconsideration ni Sereno if ever, sabi ni Krisha. Uh, we will have to see. Wala akong bolang kristal, pero it's very rare po. Uh, sabi ni... Kenneth C., can the new CJ remove Kagiwa and select another justice to handle the pet case? It will depend, uh, kasi usually, ang ponensya na yan, nira-raffle yan. So, uh, in the raffle, ang, ang nakabunot or ang nab nabunot is for the case to go to Justice Kagiwa. I don't know if, ano, if pwedeng i-raffle yan kung hindi po mag inhibit si Justice Kagiwa. Uh, I don't think magfa-file ng motion to inhibit si yung partido ni uh, former Senator Bongbong Marcos kasi tatagal lang po yung kaso. Sabi ni Merce, dadaan po ba sa commission ng appointments ang pagpili ng Supreme Court Chief Justice? Hindi po. Sa Judicial and Bar Council po dumadaan. Yun po yung nagsiselect. Yun yung body po. So, <laughs> Sabi ni, ni Ninita Ramirez, thanks po, nakachempo din ako ng live nyo. Welcome po dun sa live. Uh, sabi ni Melanie, hindi pa nalaman ni Melanie na tanggal na po, uh, ang decision po ng Korte Suprema ngayon, voting at 8 to 6, is to remove, uh, to declare that uh, May Lucereno has been illegally occupying and exercising the office of the Chief Justice. Sabi ni Freshy, kung hindi pa final ang decision, pwede pa pa siyang mag-resign? Yes, actually, pwede pa. Hindi pa, di, hindi pa final. Sabi ni Vin, how long does the JBC come to come, take to come up with a shortlist? About three months. Uh, do you think VBM is the real VP? Sabi ni Eileen. It's very obvious kasi yung dayaan. Um, ganito po yun, ano? It's okay. Uh, the proof of dayaan should be enough so that the dayaan, <laughs> the fraud, is uh, widespread enough to change the outcome of the case, of the, of the electoral contest. Sabi ni Chito, pwede bang kasuhan ng mga grupo o tao o politiko? Nako, hindi ko nakita yan. Hanapin ko. <laughs> Pakiulit na lang yung tanong na yun. Sabi ni Carol, sayang talaga yung robes na pinatahi ng Senado. <laughs> Oo nga. Um, sabi ni Seco, as he says that Serena violated the Constitution by not filing sal -in. Actually, hindi ko pa nakikita yung portion na yan dun sa decision. Only the dispositive uh, portion. Does this violation disqualify her from seeking a Senate position? Wala po tayong nakita dun sa dispositive portion na nagsasabing disqualified siya from holding any other public office. Uh, let me see. Um, okay, halos wala ng question. Sumuulit na. So, let's just take three more comments. Ang JBC ba, sabi ni Roberto, ay may kakaharaping kaso din. Ah, kasi sinabi ni Justice Teresita de Castro, ibang issue po, yung decision kasi ng, ng JBC to waive the requirements for SAL-N nung umpisa dun sa, well, the complete requirements of SAL-N for Justice Sereno. So, yes, sabi ni Justice de Castro, they will have to look into that one. Uh, sabi ni Reynaldo Monte Ucat, 
Is Sereno expected to still report for work during this 15-day period? Hindi na po kasi immediately executory. So right now, it is as though the decision is final. So she can no longer occupy her office. She has to vacate and she can no longer exercise the powers of a Chief Justice. So she can file a motion for recon. If she wins in the motion for recon, then she can go back. But in the event that the motion for recon is upheld, tuloy tuloy lang po yon. Sabi ni Hayak, di ba pwedeng baguhin ng batas para tenure ng CJ depende sa tenure ng president. We really don't like to politicize uh, positions in the judiciary kasi violation nga po yan ng judicial independence. So, hindi dapat, ano, hindi dapat uh, co-terminus. Kasi, ang mangyayari niyan is yung loyalty mo will be to the president. But, you have to make decisions that outlive or outlast your president eh, or the president who, who appoints you. Okay, last two questions. Uh, sabi ni Marie Carmires, may mga tao like Nicole Corato, who I happen to know, is blaming Duterte again for ousting Sereno, attack on another female na naman daw. I think that some of the positions, some of the people who have been removed from position are only incidentally female. They are removed because of their actions. Uh, let's say Laila de Lima, she, the reason she is in jail is because she is being tried for trying to raise campaign funds by selling drugs. Diba? So, I don't think that has anything to do with her being female. CJ Sereno is being removed because she's illegally occupying the office of Chief Justice, not having complied with the requirements. Being female has nothing to do with that. What's, who is the other person who was removed? Andy Bautista. He's not even female. So, for me, uh, it may be uh, a gender, kumbaga, politicization, politicization, politicization of the gender issue. But that's my opinion. I mean, I like Nicole, but I disagree with her opinion. People are saying, di daw malakas ang evidence kay Sereno, sabi ni Peter. Um, I think right now it's moot because the justices are the ones who determine uh, if the evidence is sufficient to get the relief. So in this case, the judge justices already determined that the evidence is sufficient. Sino tayo para mag-determine yan? O sige, assuming that you have an opinion on this, ang determination mo, hindi enough ang evidence, bakit? Ano lang ba ang evidence na required dito? She did not, remember, during the time after the oral argument, sinasabi pa niya na nahanap niya yung mga salen niya. If she did indeed find her salens, all of her missing salens, why did she not submit that? Because she did not submit that. The Solgen, in fact, came up with a statement and said, itong mga sinasabi niyang mga nahanap niyo na salens are the ones that we ourselves submitted. And kulang pa rin siya. So, uh, for failure to submit complete uh, salens, the presumption is that she did not file them. And since she is incapable of proving whether or not she filed her salens, then in this case, she is removed from the Office of Chief Justice because she did not... Uh, come up with the qualifications. She did not fulfill the qualifications. Medyo malalim dito because the decision during the oral argument, ang sabi is that SAL-N is not a requirement stated in the Constitution. That is true. But SAL-N is what they call an integrity requirement. Meaning, uh, since a person of known integrity is the uh, is the person who has, can be nominated or can occupy the position of Chief Justice has to be somebody of known integrity or has to have integrity, then the filing of sal ends shows whether or not you have integrity because if you didn't or if you cheated in your declaration in your sal ends, then you don't have the integrity required to become Justice of the Supreme Court or even Chief Justice. Okay? So, yung mga nagsasabi na there's not enough evidence, the only evidence there that was submitted and that was required are the certifications of the Ombudsman of the UP College of Law 
end of the JBC that no sal ends were submitted or only not enough sal ends were submitted to comply with the requirement because there were no sal ends she could not prove the the integrity requirement that would have allowed her to be a valid candidate for the position okay naintindihan niyo na it isn't sal end it is the sal end as proof of integrity so because there is no proof of that because her integrity has been questioned and she is incapable of disproving that or proving the integrity then she is removed from the office uh, then she is removed because she is obviously not qualified okay sal n has been placed as a very important requirement such that another supreme court chief justice was removed from position precisely because of that integrity issue So, uh, last question. Sabi ni Jordan, thanks for taking the time to answer. In case po, our president wouldn't want any of the three shortlisted names being submitted, pwede po bang mag-appoint ng preference niya kung hindi po. It has to be one of the names uh, submitted. But it has also happened that a president, it was Gloria Arroyo, who once returned a shortlist to the JBC because she didn't want that shortlist. So they gave her another, they just resent that shortlist. So pwedeng ganun eh, magbalikan lang ng shortlist. But she cannot, the president, he cannot choose from a name that is not in the shortlist of the JBC. Sabi ni Neo, Kakatapos lang ang press con ni VP Lenny, hindi pa daw tapos ang laban and the SC has been compromised. That is her opinion. And I don't hold her opinion in high regard. Sorry. Uh, sabi ni Polly, for the record, about CJ si Corona. Ano ba talaga reason why siya natanggal? Di ba tama na... Si Senator Miriam, para sa akin, political rason why Corona was removed, that the unimpeachable offensive. Totoo po yan. Uh, the President wanted him out of the way and uh, he succeeded. Ganun lang po yan. They found a way to remove him that uh, had colorable legality and he was removed. So, marami pong ano, uh, so, okay, to recap, Today, the Supreme Court determined that uh, Maria Lourdes Sereno has been illegally occupying the position of Chief Justice and she has been ousted. In addition to that, the decision is immediately executory, so she has to leave office and she has 10 days to show cause why she should not be sanctioned for violation of the Code of Professional Responsibility and Code of Judicial Conduct for violation of the sub rule for attacking her colleagues and casting aspersions on their integrity at a time when they were making deliberations of her case. Um, because of this, uh, we made history today. The Supreme Court has made history today. Um, there are people who are protesting the decision. But there is no appeal to this. There is only the, file, the possible filing of a motion for reconsideration by Sereno. But uh, there is no appeal to a decision of the Supreme Court. It becomes now part of the law of the land. And if, the, if Melu Sereno does not file her motion for reconsideration, the decision becomes final within 15 days. We do not know yet. We have to look at the decision to find out what is the effect of her removal on the cases she has decided and if uh, she has to return all her salaries and emoluments that were uh, claimed during her tenure as Chief Justice. Uh, yun lang po yung mga hindi pa po nag-share. Kung maaari po, i-share nyo naman po itong live. Uh, Doon sa hindi pa po nagsasubscribe, you can click subscribe on the upper right-hand corner of this uh, video later on. Um, those watching on YouTube, you can watch this on Trixie Cruz Angeles on YouTube. Uh, we upload all of this uh, on our YouTube channel as well. Um, you can just you can uh, subscribe to the Facebook page Luminous by Trixie Cruz Angeles and Amit Paglinawan. Uh, to, so that you can be notified every time we have a live. I'd like to thank everybody for very intelligent comments and uh, very timely questions. Uh, maraming maraming salamat because I learned as much from you 
as you do for me. Um, so, ulitin po. And uh, if you have any other questions, you can post them as comments on, on the relevant uh, portions, uh, relevant uh, posts of this page on Luminous. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo and I hope you all have a good afternoon.